after the heartbreak of Aberdeen, that must make up for it. Yeah, more than, more than that, but yeah, it's amazing. And the crowds here have been amazing, so to, to win it here has been a good one, yeah. Talk us through the attack and how you got away. Uh, Madison, so Canyon were drilling it for the first 20 minutes, realised, and I was struggling in the wheels. And then um, the kind of Madison and Canyon kept one chewing each other and started looking at each other, and then Stephen Bradbury went over the top. I was like, oh, he's gone, because he's in the same place as me in terms of they're not going to chase him. I don't know who chased him down, and then as soon as they caught him, everyone sat up. I was like, I've got to go now or never. Went through a little gap, didn't look back, and just went as hard as I could for a few laps, and there was a bit of a gap. Uh, I don't really know what was going on behind. Ed told me they were chasing him for a bit, but then decided it's not worth it, because obviously team comp, they're going for that. I'm not going to affect it. So, yeah. What messages were you getting from Sherry on the uh, pits? Uh, just sort of just keep going, just keep drilling, to keep committing, just motivating me. How uh, how much did that hurt in the final few laps as well? <sighs> After what, uh, sort of settled in a bit. I mean, it's really, really painful, but it's nothing I'm not used to. Did what happen in Aberdeen? Was that spurring you on in the final few moments? Was that kind of yeah, giving you the it, motivation? In the back of my mind, I knew I had to make up for it because I, I was so close in Aberdeen. So just, yeah, a bit of motivation. My girlfriend is in the, in the sort of technical bit, shouting as loud as she could. I was like, yeah, it was good. It was an impressive victory salute as well. You really soaked up the applause. Yeah. I kind of looked back on that straight before the finishing straight and there were nowhere to be seen. I was like, oh, I can, I can enjoy this one. It's, it's magic, it was good. It's the first individual victory for Vitas Pro Cycling, first team victory yeah. in history for Vitas Pro Cycling. Yeah. Some night. Yeah, it was a good, good night. It was Sherry's birthday yesterday, so hopefully that was a good present for her.